しく生きること誰もかもしませずに生きることはみ出さずまっすぐに生きることそれが間違わないで Hello everyone and welcome back to another Two Cents Plus video. We're going to talk about some anime today, something I haven't done in a while, and the topic of discussion today is Demon Slayer. So, I'm sure if you've been watching Demon Slayer, you've been hearing about the controversy that's been going on with Nezuko, and、um, after talking to people about it、uh, and reading comments and stuff, like, I really felt like I needed to just chime in and give my worthless opinion. On the topic, because I'm just, I gotta get it off my chest because I'm, I'm tired of seeing really stupid arguments about this whole thing. So, Nezuko, if you watch Demon Slayer, you know obviously she is a demon. She is Tanjiro's sister, and she has the ability to grow and shrink her body、uh, based on current situations. Now, if you've been paying attention to the show,、uh, when she is Out of the box, and it is nighttime, and she is able to freely travel around. Her body is normal size, as in basically the same size it was when she was human. She takes on slightly more demon like attributes, she's a little bit bigger than normal. But if you notice, whenever she's sleeping, resting, or it's daytime, she shrinks into this tiny little chibi Nezuko. And to be honest, As far as plot is concerned, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. It's just kind of a thing. I figured, hey, this is a good opportunity to sell some merch. Chibi Nezuko is cute as hell. We can't deny that. She's just adorable. So, whatever. Now, when I saw this, obviously, I figured along the line、uh, throughout this show, eventually, she'll get stronger and stronger and stronger. So, if by correlation, She gets weaker and goes into rest mode, what I like to call it. She shrinks. Therefore, logic would dictate that if any point in, in the show she got stronger, she would probably grow. Like, that just, it just kind of lined up for me. Like, I didn't really have to think or put that much thought into it. It was just like, this is the inevitable result. I could have been wrong. Maybe she could have stayed the same size, but I just figured that's the route they were going to take. Turns out I was right. That's the route they took. She got stronger. She got bigger. And if you know anything about human female anatomy, you know that adult women tend to have breasts. Like, they tend to have them. I know. I know this is news to a lot of people. It seems like shocking and baffling to people. They can't believe it. They can't understand or grasp the concept that adult women tend to have breasts. But it happens a lot, like, quite a bit. Believe it or not. And、um, that happened. She grew and so did her body. I, I know. Mind blown, right? So people were saying that she was over sexualized and all that shit because apparently a woman literally going through the stages of growth and growing into the body that she's going to be into as an adult is somehow sexual to these fucking freaks.、Um, but <laughs> no, she just. Got bigger, and that was the body that she was gonna have when she was an adult. But you know, due to weird anime bullshit, she grew up faster because her power level went up. Like, it's, it's, it's typical anime bullshit. Like, it's, this is nothing new, folks. Now, people were saying, well, they didn't have to show her cleavage and stuff like that. And I'm like, well, when she's tiny, her clothes are too big for her. When she's regular size, they fit her just fine. So, if she miraculously doubled in size, chances are her clothes would be too small. I know. I'm just, I'm just like shattering brains with these revelations. I know it's crazy. But yeah, logic would dictate that she would be too big for the clothes that she is currently wearing. I, I don't know how she still fit them, to be perfectly honest. Like, People complaining should be happy she still had clothes on to begin with, because realistically, she should have t o r e out of them completely. But she still fit them for some reason.、Um, but that would have opened up a whole nother can of worms. But anyway, like I said, I just wanted to chime in and talk about this Nezuko situation because people are idiots and they don't stop and think for three seconds because being outraged. Trumps everything. Like, just being upset about something is more important than logic and then thought and nuance. Like, it, you just have to be upset. And I get that, but you're an idiot. So, stop being stupid, please. 
Just think for like five seconds. If you don't like it, that's fine. You know, it's it's a ridiculous concept. There's really no need for her to grow and shrink. Like, there's no need for it. It's it's kind of unnecessary, but it's there. You know, it is what it is. And I'm not telling people you either can or can't like it. I'm just saying the logic that these people are presenting to me as to why they don't like it and why it doesn't make sense. It don't make sense. Like, you're not you're not making a valid argument. That's it. That's that's all I wanted to say. <laughs>